uh, welcome to the uh, final section of the drug drug interactions uh, this is my final lecture so uh, in this lecture uh, we will discuss about the uh, drug food interaction so as we, uh, we have already in previous lecture we have told about the uh, drug drug interaction drug food interaction and how it is occurs on the basis of metabolism on the basis of absorption on the basis of uh, high transformations and on the basis of excretion so uh, in this lecture uh, we will talk about the uh, influence of food on drug interaction what will be happen so it means uh, here the first point uh, which I'm going to mention that is food effect the rate in the extent absorption of drug from the gastrointestinal tract this is clear for example let's suppose many antibiotic uh, should be uh, given at least to one hour before or two hour after meal to achieve the optimum absorptions as usually uh, this is common practice and you can say uh, very irrational practice uh, that is going in Pakistan and uh, now especially uh, we all uh, healthcare profession especially or pharmacist community we are responsible how to control uh, this problems mm, why people they are using uh, drugs uh, antibiotic in a wrong way they do not maintain the proper dose so I think this is very important uh, to uh, uh, for each and every antibiotic that uh, most of the antibiotic uh, it must be used it should be uh, given at least one hour before meal or you can say two or after meal in order to achieve the optimal absorptions yes it also depend upon on the nature of the drug some uh, drug uh, which are taken uh, orally uh, before meal and after meal so that also depend upon on the nature of the drug because as we know that uh, stomach contain hcl so there is highly acidic environment so tablet can be disintegrated in the acidic environment while uh, the uh, uh, per capsule capsule can be disintegrated in the basic environment so or intestine uh, the environment uh, of the intestine that is uh, basic alkaline so the normal physiological uh, ph is 7.4 here i am going to differentiate between the different doses for example tablet tablet can be disintegrated in the acidic medium as acidic environment and stomach uh, in stomach the acl they are present in the concentrated concentrated form while or uh, uh, intestine there is basic environment so you can say uh, that uh, capsule can be disintegrated in the process so this is very important that many antibiotics should be given at least one hour before or two hour after meal to achieve the optimal absorptions and the type of food may be important with regard to the absorption of concurrently administered drug so as we know that that whenever we are going to use different type of drug so it must be in track with the food so definitely it means that food can alter food can change the absorption of the drug for example let's suppose the uh, dietary items such as milk and other dairy products that contain the calcium uh, may decrease uh, I think uh, so this point I have already uh, mentioned in the previous lecture that uh, let's suppose the absorption of tetracycline and fluoroquinone will de derive it you so we know that tetracycline this is the drug let's suppose tetracycline this is the drug if it is used in a combination with a milk so milk contain what milk contain milk of magnesia you can say so milk also contain calcium so uh, these calcium uh, it form insoluble complexes and this when these insoluble complexes are formed so it means the tetracycline may directly or indirectly reduce decrease the absorption of that uh, uh, particular drug like tetracycline so it means that if tetracycline if it is used in a combination with uh, uh, milk so uh, due to uh, due to the presence uh, of calcium uh, and the milk it will reduce the absorption of tetracycline uh, to my, uh, uh, spontaneously and you can say fluoroquinolone derived use so diet may also affect or influence the urinary pH value so this was uh, a short overview uh, about the drug food uh, interaction so you must have so now it is uh, very important uh, to educate uh, 
uh, each and uh, every person uh, regarding uh, the use of uh, different type of antibiotics and especially and the dose adjustment that low dose of a drug is more potent than higher dose and high dose become toxics and inshallah uh, uh, my next lectures uh, will be inshallah about the uh, you can say uh, uh, metabolism how the metabolism of drug can be uh, occurred so thank you so much for watching my presentations